So all the questions y'all been wanting to know, we're gonna answer them today in this video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we have some crab legs. Man, we got some lobster tails, some man. shrimp, some potatoes, some corn on cob. We got some <laughs> eggs up in here, some more scrimp. Yeah, scrimp. yeah, scrimp. <laughs> that what we that what we say back in our hood. So. Before we get this video started, there's something that I have to say. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you're already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, baby, tell them what they need to be doing. Hit the red button right there. Hit that red button right <laughs> there. For those who are new to the channel, thank you guys for the support. We love you guys so much and we hope that you guys enjoy the video. All right, y'all. And then not only that, y'all, this is our first mukbang like literally our first mukbang so we are super excited for this we're gonna go ahead and get into this food but before we can get into the food we have to pray gotta okay? pray so pastor come on all right <clears throat> Heavenly father lord we thank you for the food that we're about to receive we bless the hands that made the food but we also bless the people that are out there to support one another and support us as well we ask that you continue to give us blessings and continue to guide us in our long journey. In your great name and power, I pray these things. Amen. 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 All Woo. right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. And while we're eating, we're also going to go ahead and answer questions that you guys may have. Right. I don't want to keep hitting it, though. Do you want your thing going? Y'all, we had went to Pier 88. It's um, a place here in, in, um, where we live. So y'all, we finna go ahead. You ain't gonna take a bite first before we get into the questions. Sure, yeah, I think I'm gonna get the egg first. That one's looking good. Y'all, I love the potato. My mouth gets so juicy. If y'all know, y'all know. But if y'all like seafood, don't do y'all mouth not get juicy when y'all finna eat? Like, I don't know why, but it does. So, sorry. This oh, is baby. a potato. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, sausage. Why did I say that? This is a sausage, y'all. Yeah, I thought I was going to get that egg, but that sausage was and you know, ain't going to cap. Yeah, I'm going to say the potatoes for last. Because I do not. All right. I get full too quick. Okay. So, the first question was... What made us want to do YouTube? I'm gonna let you answer that first. Hmm. Well, honestly, I didn't even really like know about YouTube like that for real. I mean, I, I would watch videos on it, but I never knew like, you know, of course that you can just up and do it like that. I thought you had to, you know, have some type of certification or whatnot. But 
when me and DeAsia met, I was just like seeing a couple videos that she had done and you know, with her and her ex. And I was like, man, that's so, actually, it's a fun. It look like it's real fun. Like you just live in life, you have a great thing, great personality. You just show up what you do. So I was just like, man, I want to have a great time and show people what I do. I mean, I'm just a cool person and just like to live. I want people to see that. So after that, I had asked her in the room, I was like, babe, I really want to do YouTube. And she was like, oh, babe, it's crazy that I feel like me and you were just so meant to be. Why and you ask all that? It's just a question. What made you want to do YouTube? <laughs> She, she made me want to do YouTube, kind of, in a way. So what made me want to do YouTube, y'all, like he said, I, I did YouTube before me and him got together. But I've been wanting to do YouTube because I love being in front of the camera. I love showing people my personality. And because of that, I was just like, I might as well do YouTube. And at first I started, we, we was doing challenges and stuff like that. But I eventually started doing like, my makeup and stuff like that so after you know me and davio met and stuff like that i was just like hey we should do youtube or would you would you be interested not would you want to do youtube but would you be interested and he said yes yeah. so that's when we started together mm -hmm. he was with it and i never gave up on it so it's like yep yeah these crabbers are so, so good well, this question is, what is your favorite vid uh, mukbang video you've done so far and why? <clears throat> well, so, uh, no, you go first. So with our favorite mukbang, this is our first one. Yeah. <laughs> this is our first one um, and we like it. I really do like it. So far, I'm liking it. I've been craving for seafood for the longest and You've been craving for seafood. I've been craving seafood. I've been craving seafood for the longest, so I've been wanting to do Q and A's as well. So yeah, you have first mukbang. Yeah, very first mukbang. Um, I already I can tell I'm gonna love it anyway because I always like eat and ain't gonna cap. <laughs> okay, y'all. So for my second question, um, is what advice would you give someone who wants to start YouTube? My advice that I would give a person that wants to start YouTube is do not hesitate. Just go for it. A lot of people sit there and say a lot of things ain't for somebody. But it was one thing that I heard that actually made me think otherwise. A lot of people can tell you, you know, everything ain't for everybody. But who are they to tell you that this ain't for you if they're not you? That makes sense. Like, you can't tell me I can't do this if you don't even know who I am. If you ain't never seen me in your presence before, but I tell you I can hit a backflip, but you look at my physique and say I can't, then I end up hitting one. I just proved you wrong. That's what you gotta look at. It's all about making hate is your motivation. Sometimes you just have to have that to be successful. I feel like YouTube is a platform where anybody can become whatever they wanna do. You're not doing nothing but living what you wanna do. And I feel like that's easy for anybody, especially if you still pursuing your dream. So I would say, don't hesitate. Don't listen to the negativity. Just stay focused and consistent. Very consistent. And just keep striving to do better. You'll make it. Well, he about said everything, but what I would say, what advice I would give for someone who wants to start YouTube is make sure you do your research before you actually do a video. So make sure that you don't have any music on there that's gonna be copyrighted. Um, they actually made it super simple now that for like you don't post your video 
before you find out that it's copyrighted. So once you try to get your video uploaded, it will tell you if you have copyright claims or not. Um, so I would just say just do your research on the things that you can and can't do on YouTube. That way once you film your first video, you know and you don't have to find out later on down the road. And also, like he said, don't give up, just do it. Like if it's something that you wanna do, just get your camera. It don't have to be an expensive camera. It can be your phone, your iPhone. We started with Babe's Galaxy. So that's that's another thing. You don't have to be waiting because you wanna get a, a camera or anything like that. Just go for it. As long as you have good lighting, you're good. Good lighting is very much needed when you're doing YouTube. That quality boy, that quality something. Like, God, Ooh. it was hurting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get you now. Yeah, I'm gonna try yeah. this corn. Yeah, see, you didn't know that. Oh um, yeah, you know how I mess up. Oh, yo, yeah. what I need right there, man. You empty, empty. I can feel it. You ain't got nothing in you. Y'all probably wondering like, why do we have white shirts on? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question, cause I really don't know. <laughs> no <laughs> reason, just, hmm? <laughs> yeah, Lee, what are you eating that corn? You over there to add some more. <laughs> Seriously, baby. Hmm. You might need to get you some scissors. It's just hard. Like I, I can always like I'm usually able to open this one, but for some reason, it's hard. All right, let's see what the next question. Ah, <laughs> baby. Yep. What is your biggest pet peeve about your spouse? How much pride you got? Sometimes he don't know when to say sorry when he's in the wrong. So. Me being the cancer that I am, I apologize even when I'm not wrong. And he just don't be knowing when to apologize. I do. I'm the Virgo, so of course I know. He don't be knowing. Why you got to apologize sometimes? Why you got to put me on glass? That's the only <clears throat> pet peeve I have is that he got a lot of pride in himself. Mm -hmm. Can't put my pride to the side. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, what? Eh? <laughs> well, well, what? What's your biggest pet peeve about me? My biggest pet peeve about you, you leave the toothpaste off the toothbrush, uh, off the, uh, you need a toothpaste cap off the toothpaste. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, I don't. <clears throat> I'm just playing. <laughs> I play too much, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ain't playing with that food. <laughs> Oh. This corn is so good. My biggest pet peeve about you. Mm. You don't like to listen. Me? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I got your eye. You got in your eye? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Yeah, you don't like to listen. Y'all like you, this. Like. It's like you will have like a, uh, okay, for example, like you will have something like important you want to do. Like, babe, you'll be like, yeah, it was a perfect thing. You'll be like, babe, I want to get my nails done, but I also want to get a tattoo. Which one do you think I should do first? Well, babe. I feel like you should get your tattoo first. If you get your tattoo first, you go ahead and get past the pain part. Then you can relax. Well, instead of you listening to what I say, you gotta go hear what everybody else gotta say. And then even when they tell you, you still need like five more people to tell you something else. I'd be like, man, you might want to even ask me at this point. And hey, y'all, I get that from my mom, cause she does the same thing. No matter what it is, we will ask somebody, 
that we know is gonna tell us what we want to hear, but then we'll go ask somebody else just for confirmation. I don't know why we do that, but yeah, I do agree. I I do that. Man, this shirt for me, jump. I do do that. You had the shirt yet? Mm mm. Lost it to a Um. And you know they had the losses mm here. Mhm. Yeah, you ain't playing. Look, you got twelve points. Our okay. My next question is, um, <clears throat> well, the next question is, how old are we? Like together? No, how old are we? Like, how old are you? Um, well, it started back in 1952 when I was, my mom met my dad. No, 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 no. Straight out of the military to the streets of Hard Knocks of Compton. Came now you know me. You, now you know you for <laughs> Came me in thug form. With no. my cholo tattoo at the age of two. No, no, that is not true. Tell so if you guys really want to know how old I am, I am 16 in adulthood form. She a cougar. You a cougar. Excuse me? Yeah. No. Damn, Tell them man, man. put your elbow there all over here. I'm trying Get, to get this you is a, look, it's a wall here. You need to be careful. You sure you show eat. Be love. Tell her to come get you in a minute. <laughs> my water bottle. Nah, for real, y'all, I'm 26. Tell me why I was looking at you like, man, you know you're like. Well, no, I and I'm 24, y'all. I will be 25 in June. All right, and I answer y'all questions because I know y'all asking. We eating in the white t-shirt because we built different. Because we can do that. We professional. Uh, Seafood eaters. I was professional at the womb. I swam with the octopus. She professional for real. You can hear it. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? Holiday? Yep. Yeah. It's our holiday. holiday? I don't know how you got all this out, baby. I don't have to think about that one. My favorite holiday is Christmas. And this Christmas, yeah, I, uh, I will be <laughs> a very special Christmas for me. Let's go for the holiday. Well, I used to have to you know, fuss and argue about it because I also like Thanksgiving. Then I used to like fireworks too, so. Fourth of July was always one of my favorites at first because I used to, you know, have fun with my little brothers. Like we used to go out and pop fireworks, mm -hmm. get them bottle rockets and the Roman candles and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And we used to go to war with them. They'll be on them bikes, I'd be chasing them. But, Hands down, since we done had Ava, our beautiful princess, Christmas has literally been the best. I love waking up in the morning and decorating the Christmas tree right after Thanksgiving. We get to watch Polar Express, drink chocolate milk. Not chocolate milk, hot chocolate. Well, you like eggnog. You know, I miss a hot chocolate too. Yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all, uh, speaking of which, man, I'm trying to go all out this Christmas. So, uh, y'all know some good stores. I know it's too early to be. So, I have to like that. decorate? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So, the next question is what state? do we live in well we live in greenbow alabama 
Well, four is gone. We live in Alabama, y'all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is so good. Good job. We live in Alabama. We live in for a little minute. For a long time. Started from 1942. Mm -mm. I was born and raised here. Mm -hmm. West Philadelphia. He was not born here, but he was raised here. <clears throat> That's Bubba Gump shrimp right there. Look at that. Souffle. All right. I ain't even say it like we love be saying water break. Uh, let me get the next question. If there was one person you could go to that say no is you better than anybody in the world, who would they be? Wait, say it here? If there was one person in the world you can go to that knows you better than anybody else, who would they be? That knows me better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. My brother. My brother knows me like the back of his hand. You don't think I know you like the back of my hand? You do, but there's some things that he know that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe don't know, or may not remember. Mm -hmm. What? No, he's been a bit. <laughs> you still do to this. No, <laughs> Let me try to joke. Because <laughs> if I used to pee in the bed, you used to do the one yourself all the time. Right, we ain't gonna speak on that. Mm -hmm. So? I bet you don't. All right, man. I boo booed on the bed, dog. <laughs> you probably did. No one did. Don't blame me. Don't do me like that. Man, they should have put some scallops in here. Scallops? Mm -hmm. Do they even sell scallops? Yeah, they do. They do. It's a seafood place, so I'm pretty sure they do. All right, y'all. The next question oh, is. No. What? You didn't even let me answer. Big head. What? What? what was mm. What was the question again? Who knows you best? Oh. Somebody that knows me, knows me, knows me. Mm. That's a lot to think about. Cause see, I got five brothers. But hands down, my mom. I don't think nobody knows me better than my mom. Me and my mom are like best friends. I do. You crazy. I bet you didn't know I got jumped. You never got jumped. Yes, I did. <laughs> when? How old was you? I was young, young. I was like, like maybe third grade. Third grade? Yup. Y'all was jumping folks at that age? Ooh, bad as hell. Ooh, bad. There was nothing in this. All right, y'all, the next question is, how old is Ava now? Our baby is? Three years old, going on 35. <laughs> With her bad she self. She is getting so big, y'all. She's getting so big. We'll have to bring her on here to see y'all more. Yeah. In which we will because now we've been more consistent. So we will definitely bring her on camera. She's getting very big. Yeah, she taller than the age already. <laughs> don't don't do that. Don't do my baby like that. <laughs> Here she is, almost. Oh my god. She come up to what? Your elbow? My head. Yeah. What? Why right, you gonna break your tooth? Keep on. <laughs> How else I'm supposed to open it? You only use scissors for the king crab. Cause these, you don't cut all kind of meat up in these. <laughs> She'll be four this mm -hmm. year. A grown woman. All right. What's your favorite scary movie? No, I'm just like, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Hold on. Let me try to guess. 
Well, it has changed, so I'm gonna tell you that. Hey, man. I was gonna say Polar Express. That's my favorite Christmas movie. Not my favorite movie, though. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Mm, I don't know your favorite movie, then, baby. You talking about the change? What did change? Sure. It didn't change. I was just gonna try to see if you was gonna be able to still guess it. Loving basketball, y'all. Loving basketball will always be my favorite mm -hmm. movie. I was gonna say the wood. That was real love. I was gonna say the wood. <laughs> Even though like they had a lot of stuff going on, that's still my favorite movie. You was gonna say the wood. That's yeah. like my second favorite. The oh, 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 oh my goodness! Tell me I ain't no pro. You right? I am. Go ahead and tag or be loved down below. Tell her give me on her show because guess what? I'm a professional she now. She can't get you on the show if she don't get the real pro on the show. Let me right up. You. Yo. You. Yo, I don't want to talk to you how to do it. What's your favorite movie? I oh, don't know, tell me. Your favorite movie. It changed. Is The Lion King. Nah, I'm working I need me some more pie. For those who don't know me, man, Disney period has always been a big, a big thing to me. Yeah, I'm a big kid. Been a big kid. I was gonna be a big kid. All right, y'all. Next question is: Did we graduate from high school and go straight to college? I took a year off. Because when I graduated high school, I didn't know if I was going to go to Texas or back to Texas with my dad or if I was going to stay here. So I actually took the year off trying to figure out what I was going to do. And I'm glad I actually waited because if I didn't wait, I probably wouldn't have the Asia. The love of my life. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. I try to be better. You're so sweet. Y'all, I'm getting full, so what I'll do is I'll sit here and I'll let him eat his food. And I'll just go back and forth with answering questions because I get full so fast. That's why I don't do mukbangs and ASMR because I literally get full so fast. Yeah, why you can't handle be loved? But she has somebody on her show that, that uh, that got full fast. So we to do it here. We it just do happens. That. Do that. But, and also the reason why it happens like that, y'all, is because if I wait too long to eat, I will not have an appetite. I will not have an appetite at all. Well, you see how they jiggle me on this look. All right, y'all. So I actually graduated in 2015. And yes, I did go straight to college. I did not take no breaks or anything like that. I went straight to college. Plus, I love school, so. I love school, too. I graduated in 2013 from high school. <laughs> 2013? No, don't do that, because I ain't know. I graduated until 2013. <laughs> <laughs> what are three things you can't live without? My phone, water, and food. Psych! Damn. I would do water, my my family. Oh, it's over with. You already said what you want. <laughs> it's all about me, myself, and I. That's all I got. In the that is not true. Yeah. What's three things you can't live without? I just said it. Me, myself, and I. That's all I got. In the end. <laughs> I can't live without my shoes. <laughs> I can't live without my shoes. Oh, I can't live without my shoulders. <laughs> Just imagine, man. <laughs> you won't be able to do nothing. No, mm -hmm. you won't if be I able can't show my shoulders, though. <laughs> you won't be able to do mm -hmm. this. If I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I guess you're going to use your chest. <laughs> no shoulders. Mm -hmm. you're gonna... mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, oh, hey, uh, but no shoulders. I ain't got no arms. He's not going to do 
Well, I guess that was his no. answer for real. No, no, don't try to change it now. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real. I can't live without my shoes. Water, of course. Oh. Um, trying to think. Oh, basketball. Wow. What? Wow. You said what I can't live without. <laughs> I know what the question was, sir. Okay. Well, well, I don't even know. There you have it. So, the next question, you guys, is if there was one thing you could change about your spouse, what would it be? I'd like to go for I ain't no fool. If I could change something about your old big head ass. Uh, Not my toes. <laughs> <laughs> How spoiled riding you is. You're not like spoiled, spoiled, but when you get spoiled, you get there. Mm -hmm. You're the type of, nah, babe, it's okay to. Man, what would you want? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> For me. Nah, you be for real. You'll be next minute and be like, babe, you wanna go get some seafood? I don't care, babe, if you want to. Man, why would you want some freaking seafood? I'm gonna crave some seafood. That's because every single time that you uh, ask me what no, I wanna no. eat, no, no. <laughs> every single time he asks me what I wanna eat, and I say something about seafood, man, I don't want no seafood. Man, <laughs> I'm asking you what I want, because what I man, want, you obviously don't want. Man, I'll be asking you, because every time I say something, you already know what I'm gonna say. Taco Bell. Well, I said, oh, Basic. It's spicy. I prefer the term partial baskets. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, for me, I wouldn't change anything about my spouse. The only reason why I say that is because we're not perfect. You know, we we do things and all of us have flaws. Like, I don't care if it's us, y'all, you know, anybody else, we all have flaws. So you when you first meet somebody, you have to learn to like or not like something about them so like if you answer. can deal with their flaws you got yourself one i like that answer but you lying no it's literally nothing i would change if it was one thing you could change about me one thing i wouldn't change nothing i like you as is even though you get on my nerves sometimes i like you as is too there's nothing i would change I live every day getting to know him even better than the times that we've been together. So I raise a girl like my daughter. <laughs> you just had to turn that on. <laughs> now you got me thinking about my daddy. Oh shoot. Whoa, because what nah. you just said. I'm sorry. <laughs> just made it all worse. See? Don't know how to be sentimental. Romantic. That's my word. You don't. Sometimes. Man, boy, I've been all of this of vegetable oil. <laughs> Do they green. really? No, they don't. They don't. They don't cook this in no vegetable oil. You really was for the fall over there. They boil. It's, it's boil. It's a seafood boil. Look what I got today. Dave yo. <laughs> in my bowl. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> What was your favorite subject in school? Ha! Ha! Don't say it, cause you know. She was English, y'all. But ha, look, this what get me with her. Mm -mm. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait till I eat my little potato. I'm not even say it. How she? Oh, she gonna like English, but she can't speak English. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Girl, you're the most country bucking I know. You know me, I don't know English. What'd you say? <laughs> that doesn't mean that I don't know English. Thank you. 
That don't mean I don't know English. Yeah. I know how to put sentences together. I know how to talk professional when the time is needed. Oh, is that right? Yes. Give me a professional sentence right now. Put this in a professional sentence. That dog ate my cat up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that dog just ate my cat. <laughs> man. <laughs> no man in it. <laughs> okay. You gotta tell me what's wrong with the sentence this time, okay? Mm hmm. Alright, um. I went to Dillard's to buy a gift for my parents, but figured out that they ran out of everything. First of all, you need a comma in there. You don't need a but. And you needed an I. I uh, where? Before oh, yeah. figured. Okay. What I did was called a what? A run on, run -on sentence. sentence. Yeah, look, I know a little bit. I ain't no English major, but I know English. Check me out. You ain't even give me a chance to swallow my water before you been bust out with it. I just want you to know that I ain't no dummy. I know you ain't no dummy, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, his favorite subject is math. Ding, 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 ding. So literally like when we were in college and we had biology together, was it biology? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had biology together. We made a, a decision that since he loves math and I do not really like math like that, he would help me with my math. And because he didn't like English that will like essays and writing and typing and all that stuff, that I would help him with English. So. It just worked perfectly. Perfect match, ain't it? <laughs> it That's worked crazy, perfectly. Now, when I tell y'all, <clears throat> your boy was a beast. I was literally like a tutor in college. I would tutor people in math. For real. I was in the head of my class. I was the first one I always finished my homework, my classwork. And I was always the first one to finish my test. And after I finished everything, I was always helping other people try to figure out how they can, you know, better themselves in math. I'm, I'm that deal. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm that deal. Yeah, I guess. Well, our next question is, what is our favorite drink? Oh, like, what you mean drink? Like, drink, drink? Drink, just a regular drink. Not alcoholic. Oh, no alcoholic beverages. No. Just a regular drink. What's your favorite drink? Mm. For me personally, I would say water, but water don't count as a drink. What? Well, yeah, you gotta drink. drink it. I thought you were saying it's like flavor. It don't have to be flavor, okay. it's just a drink. It's water just... is definitely my favorite drink. I love water. I love, love water. Yep, my favorite drink is water as well. Um, but I started drinking water at a very, very young age, like five. Well, I ain't gonna say very, very young, but five years old, <laughs> probably you before. Made, you made it seem like, like water I was, was a couple just, months. No, you made it seem like water was a restaurant. <laughs> so how long have you been drinking water? <laughs> no, like because like you know, some kids right. love juice. Like no, but you some made kids it seem like juice, juice, juice. Oh, yeah, I know you love water. <laughs> I love water. Like, my mama used to have my yeah, little had, sippy cup with well, my ice water. and my water. I was straight. Like, I was good. Um, is there anything you wish would come back into fashion? Come back into fashion? Mm -hmm. My black boots that I used to wear when I was younger. You the rain boots? They purple? was not rain boots. <laughs> they weren't rain boots. They were just regular, boots. like. When you were a kid? Yeah. Man, it was rain boots. No, they wasn't. First that... of all, they, they wasn't my boots. 
With the big ass. somebody else's boots and they was just big. Man. Mama. Oh, she said that was just big. So you wear <laughs> somebody else's boots? You wore them boots out there. It was probably my mama's boots or. Nah, I don't want your mama's boots. Damn, I'm finna let you go out the house. <laughs> And then that purple jacket. No, no, you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to bring the purple jacket in here. In, in this conversation. It's 97 degrees outside. Her mama said she was going. It was 97 <laughs> degrees. Her mama said she be going outside. No, it was definitely purple, not a purple no. raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely not 97 degrees. I promise you. Not 97 degrees. Oh, she was over there. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but my black boots was regular, like halfway to the knee. They wasn't knee high. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They was knee high, y'all. They was knee high. I'm sorry. I saw the picture, man. <laughs> there was some big ass boots. Right? I told you they was big, but they wasn't rain boots. But you said they wasn't your boots. How could you lie like that? They wasn't my boots. They wasn't your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let your mama call your mama to tell that. Mama, what I wear your boots outside? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I don't want my boots. You know, she that was her that. boots. That was not her boots. Anyway, what's one thing you would like to come back in fashion, style, whatever? Mm. Let's see, something that I... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Because I think they already came back with it. Y'all remember when... Uh, Y'all remember back when Nelly first started rapping, he used to have a band-aid up under the eye. And with the band-aid, he used to have a do-rag and the headband. And then he used to have the football jerseys on. Man, I used to rock them in school, me and my brothers, man. I used to have a Dallas Cowboy jersey, football jersey. I was skinny as hell, them old big as shit. You thought you was naked? <clears throat> But no, nah, for real, I wish the bowls would come back. <clears throat> I miss well, the Well, they bowls. said my half came back. Yeah, but they like skinny jeans now. No, I'm talking about the ones that um, Caesar and her dancers had on and um, hit different. No was your bowls, wasn't it? Yeah, but that was just her wearing. I'm just talking about like seeing people wear with them white tall t-shirts. Oh. Man, them used to be the jump, man. Like we used to, and yeah. when they used to wear some of them. Yeah, they be in the skating ring with them do rags on, doing the lean with the rock with it. Oh, not the lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> yeah, See, I, I bet. Come back. What dance did you used to do that that uh, that you got hurt from? Are <laughs> uh, you gonna put me out like that? No, you gonna put me out? No. You was talking about my, my boots and my, my uh, 97 no. degree weather jacket. No, you was talking about your boots. I didn't say I nothing about the jacket though. You didn't say the purple jacket. Well, if you bring the boots in, you got to bring in the jacket. Okay. I'm just saying well, because it's it's a combination, babe. Well. You wore it so, together everywhere you went. No, <laughs> everywhere no you I went. didn't. <clears throat> but yeah, what told. is did you used to do? I did the stanky leg and <laughs> I tore up. Well, I ain't tear nothing, but I'm, I dislocated my uh my knee. It was What is our favorite food? Seafood. <clears throat> Actually, mine have changed. I love seafood, but before seafood, my favorite was um chicken casserole. Really? I still love chicken casserole, but I love seafood. Like I love seafood. I love Caribbean chicken, but after this. Well, you done? Yeah. I had to change it up because oxtails are, man, oxtails jumping. And it ain't something that I say I would eat on a daily basis, but I love oxtails. But Caribbean, like Jamaican jerk chicken, I love Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah, I've tried jerk chicken and it's really good. All right, you ready? Yep. What song was best song you up? 
What song would best sum me up yeah, as a person? Like, if it was one song that would describe you, what would it be? Oh, that would describe me? That's a really <clears> good <throat> question because honestly, I don't know what song would describe me. Um, I got a couple of them. Honestly, like, I would say this song, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is by Brandy, but if it's not, tell me, but I'm pretty sure it's by Brandy. Hold on, let me see. You're my sister, always there for you, and I don't know what I had to do with you from the beginning to the end, and always here right beside me, so I call you my best friend, and all the good times in the bad is whether <clears throat> I lose or if I win, and all the good things have changes, so I call you my best friend. So, I'm gonna tell you why that describes me, is because I'm a very loving and caring person, and I love my family, I love my friends, I love my best friend, you know what I'm saying? So. I am just that sister that will always be your, be by your side, no matter what, through the good, through the bad. That's a good song. <clears throat> I don't really know what song would describe me, babe. I got so many of them. It's hard because songs yeah. to describe you like this, not, I'm not saying you in general, but I'm saying just anybody. For, like, for me, that's complicated. Yeah. It's like, It'd have to be a song that I could relate to, you know? <laughs> Why was I sitting here thinking, all I do is win, 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 no matter what? For me? I was just, it just came to my head when you said it's so many, but I was thinking basketball, so I was like, all I do is win, 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 Oh win, my win. God, see, that, that could be one. <laughs> but no, when I think basketball, first thing I think of is Ain't I all the time, Ain't because I that's what we all I was listening to Ain't I, but that's in, I was in middle school. When but every out. time we, you know, did the little warm up. You was school? Yeah. I was in middle school when that song came out. So who the cougar? <laughs> Actually, no. No. Oh. Actually, I was in eighth grade when I was playing that song in high school. We played it in oh, okay. my eighth grade basketball year. And we used to always come out to that part. And I'll be in that part when uh, Young Dro came, he said, some, some, ain't a, some, 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 I had you do the margarita. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat. Ah, man, that's lay over. Lay, yeah. Oh, um, a song that'll describe me. There's two artists, and there's one song that I just thought of that I could actually relate to. Okay, so first one is Drake. I love Drake only because like he has an emotional side, but he also has a side like it's like, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it makes me like, it makes me feel like he speaks for every man out there willing to, you know, put his love out there. And if it got hurt, he say, well, then I learned from it and he, he overcome. I feel like I've been through situations like that. So I listen to him all the time with that. Just like in a uh, Chicago freestyle, that's like one of my favorite songs about Drake right now. One person that I will say speaks from my heart though is J. Cole. Crooked Smile is like my top notch song at all time. That right there, that song right there would be something that I can say I relate to because me growing up, I was always raised by a single mother. So me being raised by a single mother, I learned how women can get and I learned how hard it can be on a woman. So. I always try to spread my love toward a woman and making them feel like, you know, things that they need is already there. So don't try to cover up what you got because what you got is what you're blessed with. What made me realize that we were meant to be was the fact that, honestly, there is no other answer for real to me but this one. And the only reason why I say it is because I don't care like how much you say you love someone. If that person is literally like split image of you, y'all literally share the same ideas and everything. That basically speaks for itself. Like me and the Asia is literally like one and the same, but in like, she's like a female form of me. Like Adam and Eve, she's my Eve, like seriously. I kid you not, like our first week, there were things that we would find that was so crazy. Like, 
it would be a sentence that could be in my head, but what I'm thinking of, she would blurt it out. I kid you not, like it would go like that for a whole week. If she thinking of something, I would sit there and I'd talk about it. Like we were just meant to have that same, you know, that same thought at the same time. And we both just sitting there like, dang man, I swear we was meant to be together. You, you saying it, I was just thinking it. It was one time we was in the room and I was saying something. Didn't even know that she was even thinking about it. She was looking at her phone and I had said something. And she looked at me and was like, dang, babe, I was just talking about that. The same thing with the YouTube situation. Before I even knew she did YouTube, I was already talking about YouTube. That's crazy. So yeah, that, I feel like us having that same mindset. Cause you know, they always say great minds think alike. But greater minds, share the same vision. Mm -hmm. With us sharing that same vision, that's what made me know this was my better half. So my answer <clears throat> could have been longer, but he said most of the things that I would say. But I'm gonna keep it cute, give y'all a little simple answer. Mm -hmm. um, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, how I knew that Davio was meant for me was because when I saw him for the first time, but I knew that God was bringing him to me because I hadn't been looking for nobody. I haven't been trying to talk to anybody. And when I saw him, I just drew that attraction to him, not sexually, but everything. You know what I'm saying? Like physically, mentally, like I, I, I grew an attraction with him or connection. I'm gonna say that even though we didn't physically know each other like right away, mm -hmm. I still had the connection with you when I first saw you. Like when we locked eyes and all that stuff, it was just like, bam, it's there. Like when we first met, like, it was like we had already knew each other, yeah. but we never met each other. Yeah. Like okay. it's weird, like I kid you not. Okay, peep this. My mom, and I don't really tell this story at all because I know sometimes there is my mom too. But my mom, she was actually pregnant with a, with a daughter. <clears throat> uh, my son, I would have had a sister. She would have been older than me. So I would have actually been the third child, but my mom ended up having a miscarriage. Her name would have been DeAsia. If you don't know my mom, my mom has all boys, six of us. Every last one I named start with a D. Here it is, a daughter in her family it would have started with a D. And out of nowhere, yeah, that, your pops in the picture. That was so crazy because Davio actually told me before his mom told me. And I was just like, Psh. you know, I was doing that because I feel like, you know, nowadays a lot of guys try to speak game and stuff like that. So I was like, whatever. I don't even think you're telling the truth. So when I first met his mom and she was telling me, like, she already knew my name, obviously. But when she told me, Davio never said anything. He never brought up the situation. She just came out and told me and I was like, oh my gosh like that is super, she really, super crazy she really thought i was lying i was like i'm not playing like when you meet my mama you're gonna see it when the age came around the picture i have nobody in my family said anything wrong about it. it was straight great thing it was just like god sent her and just said you know this is what it's gonna be like i had females before her that i brought around there's been people that say you know be careful with her Watch what she do, watch this, do this, do that with the age. It was just like, oh yeah, I love her. Oh yeah, I love her. My mama called her her daughter like the second day. <laughs> she was already adopted in the family. Now it seems like she like her more than me. <laughs> me and his mom is literally just alike. Like when I tell y'all just like, it's to the point where when I, first of all, when I first met her, this would be a whole different story time, but I just want to say this. His mom was watching Medea movies. If y'all know me, I freaking love Medea. Like, I had all the movies when I was younger. So when his mama was watching it, I was like, Mama, I'm coming to get in the bed with you. We are gonna watch this movie together. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. It's, 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 yeah. It's amazing though. And then she knew all my brothers, basically. Yeah, went to school with his brothers, didn't even know him, and then look, four years later. I <laughs> oh, what, man? The, what tripped me out, the one, okay, I have another brother. One of these, I'm gonna have to let y'all hear, uh, hear from my brothers too. I hope I hope that we all can, you know, do something then. Yeah. But one of my brothers, the one younger than me, right there younger than me, 
Literally, man. I'm not look. He bad as hell. I'm a, I'm being real. That man is bad as hell. He told me that DeAndre was the only one that kept him out of trouble in middle school. This man would be if DeAndre wasn't there, he had a, a hard time. DeAndre was the only one keeping him out of trouble. When we, he first saw that I was with her, this man look. He said, "Sis, what you doing here?" <laughs> she said. I'm with your brother, Davio. He said, stop playing. I said, y'all together? <laughs> man, he looked at me. He said, man, DJ, y'all together for real? <laughs> bro, you playing? That's my sister, bro. <laughs> like, when I heard that, I was like, damn, so you just know everybody in the family. You know my little brothers. Talk about how you, they grew up in the same Garco. So, like, I'm like, man, dang. Yeah. She just know everything. Like, I mean, it just... It was just like it was just like I said, it's meant to be, man. So I, I feel like that I knew it once I seen every it was like so many clues. So that's what made me realize it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is just bringing it's bringing so many thoughts to my head. <laughs> but okay, this is our last question, y'all. And listen, this is spicy. This is our spiciest oh, last question. <laughs> I'm gonna let you read like, this, this one. This is that everybody been wanting here. <laughs> When are y'all getting married? Huh. What I'm gonna wanted. let you answer that. I can't even answer it. So I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I can't answer it. I mean, you really Because can. I'm ready. Uh, I'm gonna say that. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm ready. So. But well, are you it's though? It's on him. But well, are you though? Of course I am. I'm pretty sure I am 100% ready. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and be real. I'm, I've been past ready. Been past ready. It's just with me, I've always been that person to want to give my woman, give her all, want to give her everything. So that being said, I know most people say, you know, there are such things as material things, but I feel like everything you do is material if it's not hurting you or if it doesn't make you who you are. So with that being said, anything can be material things, but memories are something that's worth the while to wait. And that lasts a long time, a lifetime. I want the proposal to be just right. I don't want no mistakes. I'm like a very romantic person. So with that being said, you already know I'm gonna make it to where it's, you know, it has to be prestige. Prestige. It has to be, nah, it gotta be that. Man, if it ain't got that in it, then I'm gonna be like, cut, cut scene, cut scene. I can't do it. So, it is a big part of me, and I apologize, you know, for the weight on it. I really do, baby. You don't have to apologize about that. I know, I know, because you look at it like it's not a big deal. It's a, it's a big deal. It's a deal big to me. deal, but the reason why I say it's not like a rush type thing is because there's so many people who are married um, that they make mistakes and everybody does though right but there's a lot of people who rush themselves into marriage and then they end up divorcing super early and it's because they they really haven't physically been there it's like once you get in a relationship you know the flings and everything mm -hmm. everything is there like right. you love this person right but like you trying to like hurry up and rush it because you're you're in that moment where everything is good you know what i'm saying so you haven't really been through the flaws right. and the bad things and things like you know miscommunications like, and yeah, you know trying like, to fix that so the reason why i say that i don't mind waiting is because it's okay you know it's a thing that we don't have to rush but at the same time just know when that time comes we're gonna be super ready right, right? Because we, we've been through it all. We, we've gotten to know each other. We've been through the flaws. We've been through the bad times. We've been through not having nothing, no money, having to try to scrap money up and mm -hmm. uh, arguments that were, were bad, but we was able to, you know, get it together. And, you know, mm -hmm. so we will be ready when that time comes. So that's why I said we don't really have to rush because it's not like we're not going to be together. Right. So. And, that's, I and I love that you think that way. See, that's, that's what I love. That's what I love, man. I swear. Cause like it's 
It's so many, I, and I, I hate to put it out like that, but there are a lot of females and men out there too that, yeah. you know, think that, you know, they just have to rush things. Part of it could be because they're past, part could be just because they feel like they're in love, but don't really even know what love means yet. Mm -hmm. Like, I know when, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna just say like when I lost my virginity, I know I thought I was in love. Yeah. And I feel like that that was that right there had me like wet behind the ears because I mean me losing my virginity is like a big thing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to wait till marriage. I wish I could have. But at the same time, there's something that, you know, I learned from that. I observe and I learn from it. And it has me knowing now that, you know, you shouldn't all automatically love off of, you know, not just the things that you see. You should get to know a person first because just because you see gold don't mean that it's always real. Yeah. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Right. You know you've heard that plenty of times and that's the that's the truth. And you should yeah. never judge a book by its cover because that book could have a, a worse ending at the end. That's just real. You always have to wait it out. Always wait out your opportunities because you never know what you have going on. But like with me, I know for a fact that we're ready. It's just, I want everything else to fall into place correctly. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we hope that y'all have enjoyed <clears throat> this video, these Q and A questions. Um, if y'all have more, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we will do a part two. Um, and then like we said in the beginning, the mukbang is the this is our first time doing a mukbang and it was really really fun the next time you guys i'm gonna try to eat more <laughs> i don't know if it was because like i waited so long to eat so i wasn't really like hungry hungry but it's okay i still had a good time i loved um answering the questions for you guys i'm pretty sure davio did too of course, so of course. just know that there will be more and if y'all haven't already make sure you like this video comment on this video subscribe to our channel it's free by clicking that red button Think clean. <laughs> and also make sure that notification bell is on so that you are notified when we upload make sure you guys leave anything that y'all feel like y'all want to see us do if you don't want to see us do nothing we're gonna do something anyway that's just real <laughs> right but with that being said babe you got anything else we have a post notification shout out pew, 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 pew. <laughs> today's notification shout out goes to darren hey, we saw you in the comment pimp love you bro love you bro <laughs> We love you so much. Thank you for always supporting us and commenting on every video. Uh, thank you for your support. We love you so, 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 so much. <laughs> so if you would like a post notification shout out, all you have to do is like this video, comment in the comment section, action game. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you will get a shout out. <laughs> as easy as that, y'all. So, we love y'all and we will see y'all in the, the next, next video. <laughs> love y'all, man. We'll see y'all later, Action Game. Peace. Trying to believe? Oh, let's see. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, I can't. Oh.